Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. So with all the madness that happened today with this whole Johnny Gaudreau thing, I just want to talk about what the Devils did in, in day one of free agency. Uh, they addressed a um, couple of needs, and I definitely want to do a video covering it. Um, after the whole Johnny Gaudreau thing, they shifted their attention to still needing a top six forward and signed Andre Palat. Uh, they made a depth defense uh, addition by signing Brendan Smith. Uh, they made a big trade uh, involving Pavel Zaka and Eric Halla. And they addressed a position of, of the assistant coach by bringing in Andrew Burnett on a three-year deal. So I want to cover that all in this video, so please stay with me throughout. So after the whole Johnny Gaudreau madness of him uh, turning away from the Devils, the Islanders, the, the Flyers... He signed with the Columbus Blue Jackets, and I've done a video on it. I don't want to talk about him anymore. So, um, you know, I want to talk about where we shifted our focus to. And during the day, we did hear the rumors of Andre Palat being one of the players that Fitzgerald was looking at. So he did end up signing him after uh, Goudreau went to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, he signed a five-year, $30 million contract with the Devils, which is uh, carries a $6 million AAV. Now, I know a lot of Devils fans are going to say, well, he's an older guy. Why give him... Uh, Five years, he's 31. It's free agency. That's what happens. You're either going to give a player more term or more dollars. So that's what happened in this case. Andre Pilat and his agent probably saw, well, they definitely saw that every, everybody's mostly signed up. So I'm one of the best names out there. So you can ask for a bit more when this happens. And that's possibly what happened. But it's not too much of what you could expect from Andre Pilat. Um, you know, looking at his, uh, his stats, he's 31 years old. So this contract will bring him to 36 years. Uh, he's 5'11", uh, 194 pounds. Uh, he's listed as a left wing, right wing. So he's a versatile winger, uh, in 2021, 2022, he played in 77 games, 18 goals, 31 assists, 49 points in 2020, 2021. He played in 55 games, 15 goals, 31 assists for 46 points. In 2019-2020, played in 69 games, 17 goals, 24 assists for 41 points. For his uh, total of his career, he's played in 628 games, 143 goals, 280 assists for 423 points. Uh, looking over his whole career, he's he's a, he hit the 50-plus point mark three times, and he hit the 40-plus point mark seven times. Uh, looking at his playoffs... Uh, that's what is very impressive about him. 138 games played. He has 94 points. So if you followed the Tampa Bay Lightning in all their last couple of playoff runs, I'm sure you've noticed Andre Pilat. He is a player that plays in all situations. He can score. He can play make. He's fast. He's quick to the puck. He knows what to do out there. And he's smart at his decision making. So... You know, looking at social media today, um, when you saw all those Tampa Bay signings happening, um, a lot of fans were wanting to keep Andre Pallad, but they knew it was going to be virtually impossible for Tampa to do that in a salary cap error. They knew he was going to test free agency, and the Devils came knocking, and they signed him. So, um, you know, I like the signing. I like Pallad. You know, watching him play in those playoff runs, you, you notice him. He's noticeable. He plays in all situations. Uh, just the way he played with and without the puck, that's something that I, someone that I, I envisioned playing for the Devils if, you know, the, the need was there and they went for it. So I like this signing. I really do. So looking at comparisons of what happened with him and Johnny Gaudreau, uh, Johnny Gaudreau signed a seven-year, $9.75 million contract with Columbus. So with this, you're giving up two years of a player and over $4 million a year that you'd be playing Johnny Gaudreau rather than Andre Pallad. So I know Gaudreau's a, a hell of a lot of a, a better player than Pallad, but, you know, in the situations that happened, he chose Columbus. So we'll see what happens with that going forward. So looking at the defenseman edition the Devils did, they signed Brendan Smith. Uh, Brendan Smith is 33 years old. Uh, he's most likely a 5-6 pairing defenseman. Uh, in 2021-2022, he played 45 games with the Carolina Hurricanes, scoring 4 goals, 4 assists, 8 points. He was 11th on the team in hits with 73. And with him, you're looking at a player who plays good on the penalty kill. He hits. He's a two-way defenseman. It's a good uh, D depth signing for this uh, team. They did say that they may sign a defenseman. It's just curious to me that they have... So many uh, prospects on defense that they didn't give them more time to shine. You know, I, I saw a ball play last year. I figured he'd be 
a uh, player that's seen more time this year, or Hoytuk, um, maybe Walsh. I, you know, those defensemen I, I would have seen getting more playing time this year with Subban gone, you know, that opened up a roster spot. So, you know, I didn't think they were going to go out and sign another defenseman, but, you know, they did. So we'll see what happens with this. So Brendan Smith signed a two-year, $2.2 million contract, which is an AAV of $1.1 million, which is not bad. Um, and then looking at the big trade for uh, that happened with the Devils today, they traded Pavel Zaka for Eric Halla. And, um, you know, this is an interesting trade. You know, Devils fans knew something would happen with Pavel Zaka in the offseason, uh, amongst other players that were very inconsistent with the Devils. Um, you know, Pavel Zaka, if there's any Boston fans watching this, um, you know, you're getting, you're getting a, a good player, you know, but it's just he's a bit inconsistent. Uh, he can play center. He can play left wing. Uh, he's a big body, but he doesn't hit, um, you know, but he just, he has, he plays a good two-way style. He plays a good, he's a good defensive-minded player. Um, he can score, he's got a good shot, and he's well-liked with this, with teammates. So, um, you know, seeing what Jesper Brad tweeted out today, um, you know, it was sad because you saw the chemistry with him and Heischer and Zaka. So, sad to see him go, but the Devils needed to create a roster spot. Uh, so, looking at Zaka last year. Uh, he put up in 70 games, 15 goals, 21 assists, 36 points. Zaka's 25 years old, 6'3", 210, and he was currently making $2.25 million on his contract. That expires, and he's a current RFA, so he's going to need a new deal with the uh, Boston Bruins. But I do think Pavel Zaka would, will really shine with the Boston Bruins. I think there was just too much pressure on him with Jersey ever since his draft year. You know, he, he came into the Devils when we were one of the oldest teams in the league. And for an 18-year-old kid to feel the pressure of being that next wave of players uh, where he's going to be the cornerstone of the team, it was too much pressure for a player who's not offensive-minded like we all thought he turned out to be. So, um, you know, I really feel like he's going to go to Boston and tear it up. And I wish Pavel Zaka the best. Uh, Pavel's... Uh, we're getting Eric Halla for Pavel Zaka. So Eric Halla is 31 years old, listed as a center left wing, six foot, 193 pounds. Uh, his contract is for 2.375, and it expires at the end of the 2022-2023 season. Um, looking at his stats, he played really well with the Boston Bruins last year in 2021-2022. He played in 78 games, 18 goals, 26 assists, 44 points. Uh, in 2020-2021 with the Predators, 51 games played, 9 goals, 12 assists, 21 points. And in 2019-2020, played with the Canes and the Panthers, 48 games played, 12 goals, 12 assists for 24 points. So, um, you know, with Eric Hall, you're getting a player who can score. Um, you know, I, I saw him play on a couple of different teams. He's fast, he's quick, he's got a good shot, and he's a good depth piece for the Devils. He can play center left wing, so he's versatile. And, um, you know, he's most likely going to be paying, playing on the bottom two lines. My assumption will be that it'd probably be on the third line. As the fourth line, you could probably see McLeod, Bashan, and Wood once he gets his contract situated. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, it's good moves with the Devils today. And one of the key ones was adding Andrew Burnett on a three-year deal as an assistant coach. I like this move. Um, possibly being taking over after rough... Uh, on his last deal, uh, his one year left on his deal. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but this is a good piece to bring in. You know, we heard no mention of anything with uh, assistant coaches. I did a prior video about this because you heard, heard a rumor going around. And it turned out to be true. So I like this addition. I didn't want to not talk about it because I, I feel like it's a very crucial thing. And Andrew Burnett did say that he sees a lot of promise with this team. It's a young up-and-coming team. And they got a, they got a lot of young talent on this team. So... Comment below what you think about what the Devils did today in day one of free agency. Are they done? Are they going to make any more moves? We'll have to wait and see. But um, they brought in Palat. They brought in Smith. Uh, they re-signed Mason Geertsen. Um, and they made a trade to bring in Eric Halla and Andrew Burnett signed as an assistant coach. So very, very productive day and uh, emotional roller coaster for a lot of Devils fans as we lost out on Goudreau. So comment below and let me know what you think about this. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so and subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. It's free. And join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.